All right, this video is gonna be for shoulder internal rotation. So we're gonna try a few different positions here uh, to try to hit the internal rotators of your rotator cuff uh, at a few different angles. So the first one's gonna be just neutral, so arm to the side, just where it kind of rests there. We're gonna step out, let that tension pull you open, and then close in toward your belly here. It's nice to have a bolster or something here to help to isolate the right position and the right movement for the shoulder. Uh, so a towel roll or a small ball, or a little bolster like this. I'm going to step it out. Let that band pull you open into your external, externally rotated position. And you're pulling across here. So we're trying to isolate rotation. The axis of rotation should be through your upper arm here. So your elbow is going to really stay in about the same position the whole time. Your other positions here. You're going to want to move the band for this a little bit higher up. We're going to come into shoulder flexion, so about 90 degrees here in the front of your body. Sometimes it's helpful to have your other hand under your elbow so you can keep it in the right spot. Same thing, you're going to tension that band a little bit and pull down and across. Internal rotation again. Arms doing the same thing, just in a different position. So rotating down and in here. And then you keep your arm in that same position, but you turn your body for the third position. So you're staying right here with the arm, rotating away from the band, and again, internally rotating, trying to isolate that movement without letting your elbow move too much, not forward and back, up and down, staying right here for that third position out to the side. 